But the challenge is the institution has become weakened by the way of the individual. It's about me, myself, and I. It's about how many fake, phony friends I got on Facebook, about the 142 characters on Twitter, and now Periscope has enveloped and encased and escaped and, in about, and given us an opportunity to escape into our cell phones, our iPads, and our computers, and they are not real. Therefore, we are existing in a planet that's not real because we as institutions have failed to reach out. Right, and we've got to reach out. I'm with you. I am 100% with you because we've got to reach out. That's what we're doing here. That's what Beit Shuva is about. That's what Core Church is about. That's the work you're doing at, at USC. I see it all the time. But the, and I'm saying that we got to reach out and we need everybody here to reach out. See, it can't be just me and Mark doing it. And it can't be just the institution, Beit Shuva, because we'll, we'll bastardize the institution as religion has become bastardized as a because of its religion. As Rabbi Eschel said, it became irrelevant because it became insipid, dull, and, ir and irrelevant itself. And it's time. It's time for all of us to get together to see. We have to forgive the institutions for turning into institutions. And we got to get it back. We got to make religion what it really is, which is God's way of telling us, let's move this forward. Let's make this world better. We got to make it better. It's, it's no longer okay. My friend John S. Forms, he took the tomato market, the tomato business in South Florida. And you know, there's a few rednecks there. What's a redneck? I don't know, but it's somebody that don't like you or me. And is their name Donald Trump by any chance? <laughs> they might. Just check. And he said that workers from other countries have to be treated as decent human beings. <laughs> Rabbi Heschel said some are guilty, all, re all are responsible. I'm asking you and me and everybody here to put the institution of love, of care, of humanity, of forgiveness, of truth, of hope. We've got to spread it. And I'm needing your help, and I'm even needing your guidance. You got it. I think the ch give him a hand clap, y'all. The, the challenge is, the challenge is, it was James Forbes that said, we have created an environment of religious masturbators. I love it. It feels good, but it doesn't give birth to anything. Oh, man. And the real challenge is we have become so insular, so inward, so, so exclusive that we feel good, we dress good, we smell good, at least some of us. <laughs> we, 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 even, we even tout how much we make based on how much we give. We, 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 are, we are wonderful inside of our cocoon and while the rest of the world is falling apart. So what is our responsibility, Rabbi Hesher? What is our responsibility, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? What is our responsibility, Mark, Mark? I think we must take full responsibility for where we are. And then if we don't take responsibility, then we get caught up in the finger pointing thing and we have to understand if we point one finger out, the four of the three other fingers are pointing back to us. It is not what, what mm, it is not, it's what John Kennedy says, it's not what our country or what religion can do for us, but what we can do for religion and what we can do for our country. All right. I agree. So you and I got to get up and we got to make sure that the people here and the people in, in Orange County, that we got to bring everybody together. That we got to have a day, we got to have a week, we have to have a year, we have to have 20 years of sharing with each other, of taking to the streets, but not screaming and yelling, which is very hard for me not to do, but taking to the streets arm in arm and going places and saying, we forgive you, join us. We forgive you, here's a principle, the principle is love, the principle is forgiveness, the principle is hope, the principle is truth, and then we can make it happen. So I'm saying to you, I'm going to bring people down to, to a core church in Irvine, and I want us not just to pray together, but I want us to hit the streets. And I'm asking you to bring people from core church in Irvine up to Los Angeles. Can I say one more thing? I was on a roll. I know, baby. 
But you know, but I'm the guest, man. I know, so Come you on. can do it. And I'm straight out of Compton. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I'm straight out of Cleveland. So, let's have this. And as I bring